A tragedy for one family now turned into a hopeful lifesaver for others. Tonight we're hearing from the mom of Mia Mercano. The Valencia College student was killed by a maintenance worker at the complex where she lived and worked. But her story has sparked change in the form of a new law. In a room with those who loved her most, the family of Mia Mercano saw the bill bearing her name signed into law. After all this pain and heartache, I mean, it's not going to bring her back, but we have victory and it feels really, really good. Really, really good. Mia was killed by a maintenance man where she worked and lived last year. And in just a few months, her death created change. Mia's law strengthens residential tenant safety, requiring background checks for all employees. Keys for each apartment must be accounted for and stored properly. And advance notice must be given before maintenance and repair workers are allowed to enter a dwelling. You know, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And we've been met with nothing but um, positive results from the from the from the start of this. State Senator Linda Stewart, who sponsored the bill, said this push was met with support because no more lives should be taken. And had we had the law in place, it would have probably been impossible for this person to have a master key. It would have been impossible for that person to would not have passed national background checks. So there would have been a lot of stop gaps that we have now that wasn't there then. Mia's mom says the one goal they had from the onset of this was to make sure no one has to feel what she lives with every day. I really hope that no other family ever will have to go through what we're going through now, you know. You, you never get over it. Um, wanting her, I need to talk to her, I, I have to do this, or, you know, I just want to hug her, and I can't. A law was written in conjunction with law enforcement and the Apartment Association. The new rules will go into place on July 1st.